And Heather, the school's president, calls that guide offensive, but he says it will not be removed from the school's website. To use the word American is not appropriate. I mean, that's as un-American as it gets. Some political leaders here are enraged that the word American is problematic, according to what's called a bias-free language guide on the university's website. U.S. citizen is apparently preferable. Referring to someone as healthy is also labeled problematic. Non-disabled is preferred. And calling a person rich should be substituted with describing someone as a person of material wealth. It's to the point now where it's like, really? You know? Yeah. It's kind of like, um, is that really an issue that we need to bring up? Some students say the online guide goes too far. I feel like it takes it to an extreme. The school says a group of students, faculty, and staff developed the guide two years ago, but it only recently got attention. So much so that today a disclaimer from the school's president appeared, calling the guide troubling, offensive, and not the policy of the university. If it doesn't represent university policy, it shouldn't be on the university website. Despite those calls to remove the guide from the state's GOP party chair, the school's president says it won't be removed. Tonight on Twitter, he says, am not a hypocrite, will not condemn censorship one minute, practice the next. And the school president, along with many students here, do feel that this guide was well-intentioned, but they say it did go too far. We're live in Durham tonight. John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.